guys, I'm back with the second video today. Uh, today I'm going to be showing off the uh, Creator Under the Guillotine box set, or guillotine, and uh, just my Creator collection in general. I've seen a few videos on this box set, it's kind of old now, I forgot what year it came out, but um, yeah, it's. Uh, I just wanted to make a video on it anyway, regardless of any other videos. So during this video, we'll be listening to Nardra, Black Metalist Krieg, German Black Metal. I just figured it was fitting for this video and it wasn't just thrash playing at the same time I'm explaining thrash, so let's get right into it. So here's the box itself. It's pretty nice. It opens and closes like a guillotine. Some Pain Will Last DVD. This has a DVD of a bunch of live shows they did uh, during the eras of this of these albums that are in this box set. There's all the stuff in there. Pretty good stuff. The live footage is fantastic. Um, next thing in here is something I really dig. I just started getting into cassettes, like if you watched my last video, the Mortal Decay video, which I recommend you watch. It's pretty sweet. Uh, Tormentor demo, the light's getting in the way. There you go. Back. Oh, I gotta do something about that light, but for now, it's, it'll have to do. It's like written in Sharpie, it looks like liner notes and all that. Pretty rad stuff. I think so. That back. Uh, last thing you get in here is a uh, USB. And this has, and it's obviously a really cool USB, a unique one. It just comes apart like that. And it's got all the material that you would be getting in this uh, box on the records and the cassette, plus all the bonus tracks that came later on the remaster, the CDs and all that, and all their EPs, since the EPs don't come in this box set, but I have some of those. So yeah, that's the, the little torture kit, I guess you could say. Now for the records. Um, First record we have here, obviously, 1985, the amazing Endless Pain. One of the best thrash debuts, I would say, ever of all time, in my opinion. Just an incredible step up from any of their demo material. Like, it's, it's a complete, it's almost like a complete transformation. They just tightened up, and all their songs are pretty fun and good. I mean, they're not not, not quite as memorable as uh, some of the later albums, but it's a solid debut. One of the best, in my opinion, like I said. Picture of the band. Original noise advert. 
then what everybody's waiting for, if you haven't already seen this, uh, sorry, got a low battery. Um, you got this beautiful, beautiful uh, record. I think this is this is probably my favorite looking final variant in the entire box. I'm just gonna plug this uh, phone in because man, I'm so unprepared, but <laughs> it's whatever. Just gotta go with the flow. No, no any of that. So then we have 1986's Pleasure to Kill. I didn't even need to say that. I mean, this album says its own name when you see it. Really good picture of the band, the way Inventor and all that. Awesome pictures. Another noise advert, an original. I, that's what I like. They kept all the stuff in this box really original. That's why I wanted it so bad because of this all original stuff. I like this one too, probably my second favorite looking record in the box. But, Pleasure to Kill, I mean, I would see why anybody would have that as their number one thrash album. Uh, not mine personally, but maybe my favorite career album. I mean, there's a debate whether which one would be my favorite, but. Just saying that obviously that's one of the best albums period of all time not even just within the realm of thrash or metal period just It's just how it is uh, Then we got terrible certainty This was my favorite creator album for a really long time like when I when I got into creator I liked pleasure to kill the most and then this surpassed it. I really liked the technicality of the song in this one personal favorite track is Storming with Menace. Kind of an underrated one. Here's the back. Probably my favorite creator album cover, for sure. Uh, this one you actually get lyrics, which is cool. Same advert on the back. Splatter, Magenta, Splatter, looks nice. All these records sound amazing too, by the way. Like, uh, you don't want to dish out a bunch of money for the original, like the first pressings. This, this is the way to go. They're really close, aside from the material and the slight alterations, but nothing very noticeable. It's, I'm happy with it. I mean, I paid like a little less than 200 and I got all this extra bonus stuff with these beautiful LPs. Next up is obviously Extreme Aggression. This is another fan favorite, of course. I mean, and you can see why when you listen to it. I mean, just an, another banger album. Get the liners out of this. Get uh, lyrics on this one as well, which I appreciate. And then on the back, different advert a little later. The variant for this one I actually dig. Uh, it's a, this one reminds me of Halloween a lot, like a black and orange split. Looks really cool to me. I dig it. I dig it quite a lot. I'm having trouble getting this one in. Bear with me. What's next? Another huge, huge breakthrough album for Creator. Uh, I love this one too. This album is really strong songwriting in my opinion. And that would be, obviously, Comb of Souls. A big album for Creator. Really, really is a classic. Just the seminal classic. An essential, essential classic album of great German thrash, of course. 
liner notes on this one. I really like the red and black, the dark tone. And this one, probably the best uh, liner notes because you get the picture on the back too. And I love the picture of this band. They just always, they always know how to look awesome. It's something I love about uh, Creator. They always had a good look to them to match their awesome music. They never really looked uh, goofy or anything, you know? Which is cool. I mean, I like the goofy stuff too, like Destruction and all that, and early uh, Sodom, but these guys never really went through a goofy look. And this album, some people don't like it, but I really love it, personally. And that is Renewal. Uh, very experimental, not really like a creator album, per se. Although, to me, it definitely is. But, um, I like it a lot. It's it's just experimental, I mean, what more can I say? Liner notes on this are cool. Pretty much just... Uh, when I said the Endless Pain had my favorite variant, I might actually have to go with this. Because, I mean, I like the green and black combo and not a lot of my... I don't have really that many green records. You know, I'm not like a person who goes after colored vinyl. I'm fine with just a black record. But it's always cool to have. And, uh... Well, I'm on it. I actually just realized I forgot to show you the color variant for uh, for Coma. So just that, pretty cool. The only one with a red label instead of just being black. So that's cool. A little nice little touch. And again, all these labels, the center labels match the first pressing. So. It's just gonna be the way they they were. Put that to the side. So that's basically the whole box set. I hope I did a good job of showing it off. I mean, you've probably already seen other videos about it, but uh, I wanted to show it. I, I just started this channel because I love metal and I wanted to show off my collection. I got so much stuff that I figure I may as well do something with it besides just listen to it all by myself all day, you know? So, uh, I'm gonna show you the rest of my creator collection. There's not a whole lot left, but uh, just some singles and EPs. The first one is pretty pretty cool. I got this recently, finally. Uh, the Flag of Hate EP. This is the German first press from 1986. Awesome band photos right there. Just on black vinyl, obviously, but this is one of the, probably one of my top ten EPs of all time, I would say. So there's that. Um, then we have uh, this uh, picture disc, the single. This is uh, behind the mirror. I'll show you the. Uh, picture disc. Behind the Mirror is obviously a killer song. And then they also cover uh, Gangland on this, and this was exclusive originally to this picture disc. So that's pretty cool, and it's a, it's a killer, 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 killer cover uh, from Tigers of Pantang. And they, I like this better than the original. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big creator fan, so I might be biased, but I just straight up think it's even better. Uh, just a few more things. CDs. I don't, I don't really have a lot of CDs or creator, honestly. But uh, I have the EP. I don't have this yet. Out of the dark, end of the light. I need it on vinyl or on wax, but right here. Jeez, that glare is awful, but uh, this is a not not nearly as good as Flag of Hate, but it, it's a good one. I mean, this is actually a Terrible Certainty disc. It has both. I just flipped it around to show off the EP. And then um, I have 
this this uh, endless pan, which includes the demo, the creator demo, the tormentor demo, I should say, end of the world. Like the cassette I showed you, I just like having multiple copies of it. And then I got Pleasure to Kill on CD, which also has Flag of Hate, which is killer. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it. That's basically everything I have by creator. Uh, I'm probably going to acquire more stuff. I don't really have any new stuff, as you can see. Uh, I mostly go after all the oldies first, because that's what I love. I'm, I'm kind of a old soul when it comes to you know, what I like listening to the most. It's mostly old stuff to this day. I still obviously check out all the new material and all the new stuff, but I love the old classic albums. That's where it's at for me. The production, the songwriting, the aggression, the energy of one of the bands when they're young. I just love that. But uh but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's my second one, a bit of a longer one because of all the stuff I showed, but if you could comment down below, that's all I could really ask. Like I'm not gonna try to ask for likes or subscribers. I just I would love you guys to comment and conversate with me, tell me any advice you have on making these videos, what you thought of them, uh, communicate with each other or anything like that, and uh, go check out my first video, Mortal Decay. I feel like this video is an improvement over that one, but um, thanks, just thanks for watching guys, and I hope you stay tuned. I got a lot of stuff to do with this channel, and I'll see where it takes me, but thanks, and uh, See you in the next video.